guys, welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's 1335 hours on April 4th, 2015. And Lindenburn is here. Tell them who you are. I'm Jeremy, name, name not fond of the IRC. And what did you do? I just brought a You tell them what you did. I brought something here, that's all. Just took a little drive, brought some grinders here. Okay. Did you sit on your testicles the entire drive here? No. Then why did you talk? I bought something here. It was, it was terrifying the way you did that. Yeah. So, all right. So what did what did you bring? You did something awesome, and the world needs to recognize this because this is above and beyond. This is really cool. Uh, they, they needed grinding discs with uh, those nice new grinding discs that you ground it down to pretty much nothing. There was nothing within about a hundred miles of here, so I just brought some from Detroit. He lives in Livonia. Uh, Redford. Redford. I have no idea. It's between. It's near. It's a city yeah. by the godless village of Detroit. By the Ford but, Museum. By the Ford Museum. <laughs> Ford Museum's right over there. Different Ford. So, what happened was we've been going through these like it's an Olympic sport, and uh, we bought all the ones the local Home Depot had. And then we bought all the ones the not local Home Depots had. And we bought all the ones on the side of the damn state. And the IRC, being awesome, started looking, saying, well, the nearest ones are here. And it turned out, name not found, was like, fuck, it's in my backyard. So we bought him last night. He hopped in the car. What time did you leave this morning? Uh, nine. Okay, so you left there at 9 a.m., you rolled in here at like 11.30, yeah. and, and we are grinding by noon, and the world is awesome. And there are people up there right now burning more out. So here is the ongoing collection. So I have an idea for these, Moose, when we're done with the grinding, because we're going to have a lot of these that are, that are pretty much junk. And uh -huh. to, you can buy replacement blades for these and bolt them on, but the replacement blades cost more than buying the whole thing, which is really dumb. By $9. By nine dollars. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a really cool spark gap because we have three of these now, and this this wants to be some manner of rotary spark gap. I can just, I can just see this being cool. So we have three dead ones, and they're completely useless as they are. We can't like grind with these. So these are gonna go to high voltage and be made into something different. They were grinding. Well, this one, no, this one still totally got like half a millimeter of life left in it. Well, you know, we're going to end up needing We're going to be there, yeah. By the time we're done, it's going to be like, ah, I can get another ten minutes out of that one. So, yeah. So, thank you, uh, Rob. Well, that is really absolutely wrong right stuff. Have you heard the yellow bar yet? Oh, he heard the yellow bar when he posted us the paper check. Ah, okay. He has this nasty habit of going up. You're kind of awesome. So you have to head back. Yeah. In a hurry. Why? I being some friends at two. It's the best you got. Yeah. You're not gonna go back and like because there's a house that's gonna be on fire at, at like two fifteen and you have to drag you know kittens out of the house fire and just nah just nothing that cool. Going kicking it with friends. Yeah, I haven't seen him in a couple of months. Super way the way life is just gone. Okay. Well, that's all. You need to come back and come play and hang out. There's like flying and stuff. When there isn't grinding, you can come back and you can help the epoxy process. It's way more fun than the grinding process. I hope to be doing that on my own soon. What? Garage with epoxy. Yeah? yeah? Let me know if you need any gear. I can help with this. Because you're kind of awesome. What color do you want to do your garage floor? Simple. How big's your garage? Um, don't know yet. You don't know how big your garage is? Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't have one yet. But oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Because I'm like... <laughs> then, all right, when you get a garage, let me know. Okay. Let me know before you pour the concrete pad, okay? okay? Because there are things that you can do at that stage since there is no concrete. Yeah. At that point, you can do certain things that make the application of epoxy way easier. Because if you do it like they pour the pad, they do the thing, and then like 30 days later, because it takes 28 days for it to really do its thing. Yeah. 30 days later, you come here and bring a truck and say, okay, here's a pressure washer. Because you're going to blast off the top, the, the cream layer. Yeah. And then immediately epoxy. If you 
do that. It saves huge amounts of work. And it'll, oh my god, you'll have like the best epoxy job ever because it'll be perfectly clean and it'll perfectly bond and it's everything by the book. And I would like to help you with that. Oh, I'd like to kiss your tank. What? Oh my god. Well, I'm working. You're, you decided to come You're to clamping you. my style. I'm shooting my little spot in my little spot here. You gotta be all up in my mojo. With your dottest fucking table. It's all like... This is a table with utility. Oh, I need to know the French word for snowflake. Don't ask, I'm having a whole thing this morning. What's the French word for snowflake? Thank you, sir. No problem. You rock out, let me know when you're ready to do your floor. Cool. All right. Thanks. You freaking me out. What you do when I do that is you follow, you count five seconds, you click stop. taking a little break from the grind. It's uh, 1623 hours. And this is a family that came in on the tour today. So tell them who you are, what you do, tell me your story. Uh, we're the Borst family and okay. we wanted to come check things out. The kids are on spring break this week and wanted where, to play. Where are you from? Uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Okay. And how'd you hear about us? How did we hear about them? I don't know. Originally, <laughs> 
I don't know. I heard it. There was this originally started as a Girl Scout thing. I was coming okay. to a craft store to um, work with the gal there to do projects, and I came on a tour just to find out what was here. Okay. I had so much fun. I just came by myself, and then today I brought the whole family and said, and then we got done, and they're like, "Well, we have to do something." Yeah, you guys were here for the tour and the big Q and A and all that, yep. and you had fun. So, who are you? Um, I'm Wabot Boast. And, and what did you make? I made a die. Okay. Um, and this is your first time in a wood shop ever. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so tell them what tools you remember the name. I tools? used a sandal okay. and a the vertical drill to make the dimples and some of the wood paint to um, make cool. a doggo. What was the first tool you used? The bandsaw. There you go. Okay, so you start with the bandsaw. Yeah. That's bad. And you've never done anything in a wood shop before? No. Well, this is cool. All right. Now, who are you? I'm Nicole. And what'd you make? I made a chair, a tiny chair. Okay. And I used, I used mainly the sander. It was a piece of scrap wood, and then I used the sander, and then I painted it with the um, finish. Stain. 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 Yeah. Cool. How do you feel? Happy. Yeah? You're going to come back and make more things? Mm hmm Okay, you gonna come back and make more things? Yeah. Are you happy? Uh huh. Then I did my job well. All right. So these two were like on fire in the Q and A. It was really cool. And and now you're signed up. You're like legit members. And like yeah, this is neat. How do you feel about all this? This is great. Yeah. Fantastic place. Well, yeah. thank you guys for coming. Check it out. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna let you guys play, and I'm gonna get back to the grind. Okay. Why are you bothering that dog? <laughs> Why do you gotta be like that? Look look at how tortured she is. She looks like she's having so much fun. It's so hard being that dog. Oh, oh. <laughs>